Now before we transition to Q&A, I'm going to impart upon you a gift, a specific challenge to get you started on the road towards revolutionizing this sector. Now, Professor Todd Allen has been a real mentor to me throughout the exploration of the nuclear sector. And so we've been cooking up the first steps towards retooling how innovation in this industry works. The first steps start with you right here in this room. Available to UM students and UM students only, I invite you to partake upon the world's first nuclear energy grand challenge where the team who submits the best business plan will win $17,000. Now, inevitably, after every pro-nuclear speech I give, I'm confronted with the same question. But what do we do about the waste, Brett? Now, even though there's no <laughs> practical mechanism by which nuclear waste could ever cause harm, and even though by definition, Nuclear's output would occupy orders of magnitude less space than any other energy source's waste stream. And even though lasting a million years is short compared to the duration of the radionuclides that you already possess in your body, those are not good answers to the question. Those answers, while logical, do not satisfy the public. Those answers do not cause one to reframe their perspective. So long as it is fundamentally categorized as a burden, there is no limit to the magnitude of harm that someone might imagine it to be. There is only one correct answer to what do we do about nuclear waste, and that is we don't have enough of it. The winner of this prize will be the team that creates the most compelling plan to productize nuclear waste to reimagine the ways that it will be perceived as a benefit to society. Let the games begin.